guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a little special unboxing of this Sea Monkey Ocean Zoo Kit. So, a lot of you might be wondering why I am doing another Sea Monkey review because I already have a colony running. Well, this other colony, I got down to about five sea monkeys. And then, um, I had gravel in the tank, and a few of them disappeared. And I, and I saw one actually swim under the gravel and get trapped under there. So, the gravel was killing my sea monkeys. And I went to a local drugstore... And they had signs up saying, oh, like, clearance, because they were shutting down soon. And everything was, like, 90% off. And I went in there just for some um, shampoo. But I see this, and it's 90% off. And I was already going to, like, move my sea monkeys into a new tank. And I just figured, oh, I could add more, because it does come with the eggs. And I can move my sea monkeys into here. So that's why I bought this, and I wanted it in pink, but they only had blue left. So here is my little unboxing. First, I'm going to take off the plastic wrap. Grab my scissors. So now we have the plastic off, and I'm going to open up the lid. Came off easily. This lid has, says sea monkeys, it has a few holes in it, very nice. Now let's see what's inside. Ooh, so we have three packets. We have, well, I'll start with number one. Regular packets, number one, the water purifier. Number two, the instant live eggs. And number three, the gross food. So let's see what else is in here. Ah, we have a little spoon. This is the regular spoon. Has a nice little area to put your food in, scoop it up and put in. And also has a little handle with a sea monkey on it. So that's fun. And also has the that way. The really, really nice illustrated instructions. These fold out. Very, very nice. It has some info on the back. The general instructions on the front. Very, very nice. I like the illustrated instructions. And then here is the little insert. And on the inside, I'm open this up. It does actually have some info, so that is very cool. I'll read through that. Now, let's look at the tank. Second. So, this is the tank. It's quite nice. Um, it's a bit small, but, you know, these are small little sea monkeys. And as you can see, it's all plastic. There's a little fill line right there. A very nice base and then on the inside on the bottom there's a little like floor scape ground scape I don't know what to call that but it kind of looks like mountains we have four little magnifying glasses so when the sea monkeys are in there and they swim by we can see them really well and then also obviously there's the lid and the lid just pops right on top so that will be the end of this little unboxing and i will cut back to you with hey guys set. it's me again um it's about 20 minutes later from the first clip and i have cleaned out the sea monkey tank and got some water all ready to purify so i'm going to take this water and for sea monkeys, since a bit of water purifier is included, 
you can just use regular tap water, but what is but what I recommend is purifying your water using tap water or using distilled water. Um, but tap water does work completely fine. I just find it's much, much better for your sea monkeys when you use um, pur purified, bottled, or distilled water. So, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get to the point. Um, usually, most people use bottled water, but here... I have just regular tap water that I've measured to be one cup, and as a lot of you know and what my channel is about, I own lots of reptiles. So I have a reptile water conditioner, water purifier. It's like right here, it's called RectiSafe, and it adds in vitamins and minerals to the water, which is good for your sea monkeys, and of course it takes out all the chlorine. Now water purifier is included with the kit. But it's a very weak one, and it does include some chlorine, which can be bad for your sea monkeys. So I'm just going to add the RepTi-Safe to my cup of water. I'm going to add two drops. There! Now the water is all purified, and I'm going to take the actually included water purifier from back here. right there it's packet one and I'm going to open up my sea monkey tank Put the lid over there have the tank right there and I'm going to fill it with water and it actually seems like this isn't enough so I will cut back and go get more water. Well, no, I said that wrong. I will go get more water and then I'll cut back. Um, see you in a moment, guys. Well, I have just returned and now I have a new cup of water ready to be purified. So I'm just going to do that. Two drops added. And now I'm going to pour once again into the sea monkey tank. There, we've gotten all up to the fill line and I still have plenty of water, which I will add to my gecko's um, water dish. Now, I'm going to open up packet one, the water purifier, which also has some salts and a few eggs in it. I'm going to pour it into the tank. I've opened packet one, and now I'm going to pour. It is all in the tank. And some of it settled on the bottom, so I am going to mix. Oh, there's a bit more coming out. Okay, I'm confident I got all of it. Now, I'm going to take my pipette, which isn't included in the kit, but using something like this, or blowing water through a straw, is actually very important to give your sea monkeys oxygen, which will give them a lot longer lifespan. I recommend doing it once every, like, one to three days. Let me get my pipette. This is also great for mixing up the tank as it's long, so you can stir, and obviously it can push out air, so I can also put in some bubbles. This will take quite a while for all of the salts to be dissolved. So I'm just going to keep doing this for a while. Probably, if you don't want to get bored, skip ahead. But 
I'm just going to keep doing this for probably 10 more seconds. Okay, well, I think that is plenty mixing. While the salts are dissolving off camera, I will mix it more, but for now, that's probably good. Now, um, as the instructions say, and as you need to do, I need to wait 24 hours for the purification process to complete. This will also let some of the eggs in there hatch. And yeah, let me just put on the cap and see you tomorrow. Good to do. Just before I go, I would like to say this tank, I was expecting much cheaper. It's very well made. Anyway, that was kind of a um, like out of place comment, but see you guys tomorrow. Why isn't it working? One second, I'm having some technical difficulties. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry, here I'm just adjusting the camera. Sorry if I sound a little bit nasally today. I'm just a bit sick. So this is day two of setting up this beautiful Sea Monkey Ocean Zoo tank. And here I have the instant live eggs. So I'm going to add them into the tank. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the lid. Okay, the lid is off, and now I'm going to take my pipette and stir the water a bit. Okay, it all seems well and good. I have successfully aerated the tank and mixed it around. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I will add the instant live eggs. So, let me grab my scissors. Make sure it's all at the bottom. And there we go. So I have it open now, and I am going to pour. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but in the tank, there is a tiny little bit of blue dye, and that settles on the sea monkeys. I read about this. It settles on the sea monkeys and makes them easier to see. So now the water, I really don't know if you can see it on camera, but the water has like a blue tin, like tint. So that's cool. Now, I really want to get all of these, so I get as many sea monkeys as possible. So I'm just going to make sure I get all of them. Okay, I know you definitely can't see this on camera, or you might be able to, I don't know, not looking at the screen, but there is tons and tons of eggs floating around in there. I'm just gonna see if you can see. Probably not, though. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see. Look at all those eggs. And you can still see like the blue tinge in there. I don't know why I say tinge. The word is tint. But yeah, there's it's blue tinted. And there is tons and tons of eggs. So, really hoping this works. But, yeah. So I'm just going to take my lid and plop it back on. Great. I 
am actually going to show you my other sea monkey colony, how that's going. So be back, well, for you instantly. Three, two, one. Okay, see you in the next clip. And I am back. I just teleported. I totally didn't stop the camera and then walk into a different room. But here is my other sea monkey colony. So you can see those evil pebbles that were killing my sea monkeys. You can also see some swimming around in there. Are there more of them? Huh. Maybe some babies grew up or something. I feel like there's more of them now. I feel like I only had like two before. Well, you can't see them the best on camera. Oh yeah, you kind of can, but there is one, two, three, the little baby one. Yeah, there's four sea monkeys in here. This one seems like it's a teenager, so maybe that grew up from a baby while I wasn't looking. Yeah, I haven't really been paying too much attention to this. I guess, guess they grew. So that one right there, she's pregnant. You can see, oh, no, she's not in focus anymore. Well, I'll try to find her again, but she, she is in like, oh, you can kind of see her back there. You see that black dot behind her? That is the full egg sac. Zooming by there. Yeah, th that is a little sack of eggs. And if you're not looking through my crappy camera and you actually look at her, you can kind of see the individual eggs in there. So that is very cool. Um, put the gross food in like this little deli cup. Put my feeding spoon, my instructions, aerator, different stuff. And yeah. Sorry for how messy my desk is, that is, I really need to clean this, but, see monkeys, woo! So, the next clip is probably when I start to see stuff, so, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it, I don't really know what the next clip will be, but see you in the next clip, three, two, one, so hi, this is me. I'm eating a healthy meal of just packaged cookies, so hope I don't feel sick, woo! Um, I was just thinking, you know, I've gotten quite a few clips, so I could make what you just saw one video, and then have everything else, like the first feeding and stuff, and the babies in the next video. So, down there you can see the sea monkey tank and my beautiful little setup right there. It's like this red iPad stand and then I propped it up with Lego. So, I am a master of film. But, yeah, so that was a video. And now I'm finishing the video. So, goodbye guys. See you in the next one, hope you come back um, for the next episode of my Sea Monkey series. Sorry I haven't been posting lately. I was away at a sleepaway summer camp. Very fun. I was away for 25 days. So yeah, I'm, I'm back again and I'm going to be recording because I have nothing to do for the rest of my summer and I am very bored. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.